Tonight's production was staged for the people of Gramong, Haiti. Thank you for helping make Gramong a safer, happier place for them. Shippensburg University has made its mark there, reaching out to and working with the people of Gramong. In January, six ship raiders made their way to the island village to build a playground. Bucket. It's a place I've always wanted to go. It's a fascinating place to me, and it seemed like a great opportunity to, uh, to be able to benefit from such an experience and hopefully help people at the same time. Helping kids is, is I think it's, it's what you have to do as an older person, essentially, because they are, are our future. It's everyone in the world's future, no matter what country they're in, whose child they are. I believe that if you help a kid, it's, it's only going to benefit in the long run. The first trip I did with uh, Jonas and his wife was an eye-opener that we definitely needed to do something. You know, they, even though they have nothing, but you see them, sometimes they're happy. We contacted uh, the Catholic school and they said free and playground, we want it. So that's how we ended up at uh, L'Ecole Cusbiderat. Before I came, I wasn't actually sure what we were going to be doing, but then I realized, oh, it's kind of like going to be tedious just because we were only making the cement, so we had to gather rocks. It was fun, but like it was very tedious time of doing. It got very hot, you know, you sweat a lot, uh, got dirty. Some of the boys like got buckets of water um, to mix the cement with. And the difficulty of doing work like this with no electricity or running water, I was really surprised at how quickly the work was finished. We finished early. The little kids were very helpful. They would fill up bags and bring them to me to put in the files. And then you had little three-year-olds running around and they were lifting bags of rocks that were probably, probably half their weight. What? Work such as this is really the great equalizer that it in a way transcends any sort of socio-economic, cultural, linguistic barriers because you know everybody's hauling buckets of water, everybody's pouring cement. So it was a great way to really get to know people, to have that foundation that we were there starting out as equals. One thing that was, was pretty interesting was the, the community, how the community reached in to help, like everyone was there. Children came and helped on the playground who didn't even go to the Catholic school. They really respected the fact that we tried so hard to work with the people there and not despite them. So from the very beginning, they've been very involved uh, with whatever uh, endeavor we have set out to do. They keep asking, calling every day, asking when they come back again. How are they coming back again? I really honestly feel that we made a difference and it inspired me to go back next year and the year after that and to continue to do as much of this work as I can um, because if everybody takes the attitude of uh, it being an insurmountable situation then nothing will ever get done. For me it's very difficult not to think about them and not to think at how I could possibly uh, help them and uh, have a better life.